Next one is from Hey Hokan. Hey Lars, I'll be super happy if you showed a video on how to get go about drawing a spray nozzle into a spray can. So here's also another image. Got a lot of images in this one. Love it. Look at these spray cans here. Um, just on how to get the relief on the top that has this shape. So right, see how I kind of like have the thumb here. Now there is also some logos and some some like um, I don't know what you call that, like a riddle for your thumb to go into, like right there, right. But I think that what um, Hokan is asking for is more the shape than actually these here. Now we could also model all these up with our logos and stuff like that. And we would do that if it was a plastic injection mold. But I'm going to start out by assuming that Hokan is just looking for that thumb curved thing. How would we do that? So let's do that. Um, so let's start up by drawing up a, uh, a spray can nozzle. And this is not going to be pretty. Something that looks like this, and let's um, let's revolve that around. Okay, so assume we could use the. Um, no, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, so, so assume this is a spray can nozzle. Um, oops, wrong image. Um, pretty far from from the real thing. You get it? Now, how do we make this uh, curved shape that's kind of like supposed to feel good for your thumb? What I would do for sure is I would actually use the create form. And this is this is really easy to do. Let me show you. So I'm going to go ahead and say create a new form. And then I would use the plane here. And I'm just going to sketch on top of the thing. I'm just going to draw out like a, a blanket. And you can add how many um, how many sections you want in here. So I'm going to make four just to get some sections. But when I hit OK, notice that it's just a flat blanket. doesn't really do anything. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to say Edit Form. Right click, Edit Form. And actually, the first thing I'm probably going to do is just window the whole thing. And I'm just going to drag it a little bit below. Um, below our our nozzle kind of thing. Uh, just bring it a little bit down. Fusion is just having an issue. Fusion is having an issue. All right, that doesn't happen too often for me. Um, so what do you put into these step by step? Um, somebody's gonna hate me right now. <laughs> I'm sorry person who gets this um all right that yeah thank you for your error report wow that doesn't happen too often to me let's fire fusion up again okay do 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 It actually shows up with all the the old files in here. So you can actually just go in here and you can see all the files we just did. You can open them all up. So then this box here, even though many times it's frustrating uh, when it comes up and asks you, know that you can always go in here and find all uh, all the, the files that we uh, that we had opened at that point. All right, uh, let's let's try this again. So. Um, you can actually also find them over over here um, if you go and click here, recover documents. But nevertheless, let's throw up another spray, um, spray can. Maybe that's the new update. How many people think that that was a new update that gave me trouble? Solid. And there we go. It's always faster the second time we have to do it anyways. They say, blank it on top. And I kind of make sure that I get more, fa the more faces you get up here, the more control you kind of get around this. Right click, edit form, 
select the whole image and I'm going to drag it down below my spray can. Okay. So now it's kind of sitting. You can see how the spray can shadow right there. Um, now, so here's the things we can do in here. And we're going to use this edit form, but we can kind of make this blanket. I'm going to try to make this what I think will be about my thumb. My thumb. So if I hit edit form, you can see you. Oh, so one thing I would do is use symmetry. That always makes life easier. So turn on symmetry. So like two blankets that will give you a green line down the center. Um, now everything we're doing on one side will happen on the other. So you can select the face and you can drag that down. And if we do that, we can kind of see how on the shape here, how we kind of get that blanket, right? Uh, when we do that. Select it again. Uh, so whenever you're using the sculpt environment here, you really kind of like are playing around with, with that. So I'm going to pull down the face. Now that looks pretty good. Uh, maybe, but I also noticed that this the end kind of stayed up. So I can double click on the end that will select the whole end, and now I can kind of maybe drag that down a little bit. So not only can you select faces, you can also select edges. And if you double click then in multi select, um, you can also select points. So I can actually also drag a, a, a point up if I want to, right? So I can just pull a point up a certain extent and then I can double click on an edge and I can select the whole edge up and whenever you are working with this environment here um, inside of the sculpt environment the more time you're spending on trying to kind of shape things the more accurate it's gonna it's gonna kind of get so I hope that this kind of give you an idea about how we can kind of pull this now what I will do in the end is I will hit OK and I will say finish form and it gives me a surface. Now, for some people, this seems very in, in advanced. But if you're looking over in the bodies, it's now giving me a surface. I can again split my original uh, body, this body here, with that surface. If I hit OK, nothing happened, but I get another body. See that body? I turn that body off and I turn that face off. I've actually now I just got that shape from that surface, that thumb shape in there. And now, of course, I could go back in here. We could now start, you know, adding uh, some 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 fillets in here, you know, to make it make it more that shape for for, for the th thumbprint in here. So I hope uh, that that was was useful, Ocon, to kind of play around with these bodies. Um, and surfaces in the sculpt environment to kind of give you that shape. Now, if you wanted to get that logo and kind of the riddles in there, that would take a little bit more shape. But then I would probably actually, just so you know, I would go back to that surface and maybe go into the surface workspace. And in here, I could now offset that original surface up a little bit. Maybe I do that five millimeters. And now I would build um, the ridges in here and use those between these two surfaces to, uh, to machine that up. But that's maybe a little bit more advanced than what Holcon is looking for, I hope. But that's how you can get those weird shapes in, into your plate. Hope this was useful. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, truly appreciate it.